We pleaded with the court because of his age. He was 18 at the time. And the court agreed with us that this young man should be placed on probation with the proviso that he be on his best behavior. The probation department, the Ministry of Social Services, and myself, we tried everything we could to get him enrolled at NULO, the New Life Organization. Because a young boy, 18 years old, idle, the devil's handiwork, who knows what would happen? Well, ultimately, the worst happened. Ivan and his brother robbed and terrorized the owner and the cashier at a bakery in Happy Hill, less than 500 yards from his home. Attorney Jerry Edwin is providing legal counsel for Ivan Hyacinth, who violated the terms of his probation when he and his older brother Neil robbed a bakery in the Happy Hill community in April 2022, 18 months after the probation order was imposed. They put masks in their face, covered up their heads, threw the cashier to the floor, stepped on her chest, menaced her with a cutlass, put a knife to her neck, and stole about $7,000. They took her telephone, they took her bag. They confessed all of this to the police. Robbery with violence carries a maximum penalty of 15 years imprisonment. However, the Hyacinth brothers received a custodial seven-year prison term when the matter came up for sentencing on Thursday. Ivan now faces an additional sentence for breaking the bond, which was imposed for the serious offense which cannot be revealed due to its sensitive nature. You see the consequences for our society when young men, young offenders, believe that because the court has been considerate, because their lawyer has done everything to help them, that they are now scot-free, Justice Guilford will sentence young Ivan on that first case. I will again plead for him. When you're a big man, uh, an adult, well, there is very little one can do, yes? But for young boys, we, I think all of us at the bar feel an obligation in society to help them to write their life. But it's a two-way affair, isn't it? That the young offender must take his own step to rehabilitate himself, especially if he has walked away without going into custody for an indictable offense. The matter has been adjourned to October 16th for sentencing. For GBN News, I'm Nisha Paul.